and the pleasure that came with sleep. Yeah, so the pleasure what came with sleep. What's talking about? When you nut, when you nut in your wife, or you nut, right? You got that pleasure of what? Of sleep. Yeah. You're sleepy. Yeah, that's You know what I'm saying? You can't tell that man, so you know what, go paint the house after you bust your nut, man. Nah. Nah, you want to sleep first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know? After the man busts, it's like a warm bottle. Like, like you give to a child. Yeah, go ahead, huh? Go street. And when I was born, I drew in the common air and fell upon the earth. Which is of the of the uh, sorry, which is of like nature, and the first voice which I uttered was crying, as all others do. Verse four, I was nursed in swaddling clothes. This is the key here. I was nursed in swaddling clothes, and that and that with care. Yep. Verse five. That's right. Swaddling clothes when you when a cloth. When that baby is born, you want to put a nice cloth over that baby. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go ahead. Verse 5. For there is no king that had any other beginning Damn, of birth. Damn, man. Says, say, for there is no king that had any other beginning of birth. So your house shot went through that process, man. Huh? You know? No other king. You know? And then come to see. Jesus. And the only time churches use the scripture is just to comfort a person within them, the folly them. Oh, he's the same yesterday and forever. No? Well, if he's the same yesterday and forever, then no one can take it. And I talk about all sex. So, you don't tell me no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Colossians 1, 25 and 26. Colossians 1, 25 and 26. Hey, I didn't know Jeremiah was here though. Yeah, you can go back. I didn't know he was here. Yeah, yeah. The man usually give anybody a bounce. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know he was here. He is. No, he is. Yeah, Colossians 1, 25. Colossians 1 and 25. Whereof I am whereof I am made a minister according to the dis dispensation of, of God, which is given to me. Yeah, dispensation is like an office, office of God. Everybody got their own office. As they say, say in Trinidad, everybody got their role. Everybody got their role to play. You understand? Go ahead. Right. Special of, of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Even the ministry, no, the mystery, huh? even, the, even the mystery which has been hidden from ages and from generation, but now is made manifest to his saints. Yeah, being manifest to what? To his saints. Yeah, it's been manifest to the saints. Yeah. And who are the saints? The saints are the Israelites. Your right. brothers want to back that up. Yeah, well. You know? So you got a, a scripture you want to uh, bring out or uh, continue? So, what the fuck up he says? Give me the Yeah, yeah. Psalm 249. That's what niggas about playing loud music, man. Right? Playing loud music. That's what niggas about, man. All right? Yeah. So the mystery has been revealed to us. Give me that real quick in Amos 3, verse 7. Give me that real quick. Amos 3, verse 7. Amos chapter 3, verse 7. Yeah, go ahead. He says, Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servant yeah. the prophet. So he revealed his secrets unto his servant the prophet. You know? And we just told you, and we broke it down about the immaculate deception. We broke it down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, who Cornelius is? Who is Babylon? Uh, break it down, uh, John 3.16. Understand it, John 3.16. The world. The world that Christ died for. That's the mystery, huh? 
That's the mystery. But the most I say he revealed it to the prophets. You got something, something? Give me Luke 8 10. Yeah. It says, Luke 8 verse 10. And he said it's you, it is given to you to know the mystery of the kingdom of Yahweh. Yeah, Yahweh should say it's given to you know. It's given to you to know the mystery of Yahweh. Go ahead. But to others that but to others that parables, yep. they, they they sing, they might not see. Hearing, that's right. So that's why Yahweh tried to in parable. We're talking a parable or like a riddle for those niggas not to get it. Only the elect is going to get this understanding. Right. Only the elect, not everybody. It wasn't meant for everybody to get it. It was meant for everybody to get it. There won't be no two thirds. Everybody be a one third. You understand? So when Yahweh tried to come in to redeem his people, he's going to redeem the elect, the elect of the house of Israel, not everybody. You understand? Yeah, you read English for something already? Yeah. Go read it again? Yeah, read it again. Alright. Amos chapter 3 verse 7. He says, Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. That's right, man. So he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. And that's a great honor. To know, understand, to understand these scriptures. That's an honor and a privilege, man. You've been chosen. You've been in, you've been elect. For you, how shame you shy, man. You've been ordained, man. Being ordained in this truth, man, that's a blessing, man. And, and you, you don't want to embrace it. You don't want to put this word first. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. You know? Oh, um, yeah. This is First Peter, two verse eight. Ah, uh, some verse seven. Unto you, therefore, which believe, he is precious. But unto them, which, dis, which be dis, disobedient, the stone which the builder disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner. Yep. Which is it. Yep. The, the stone that disallowed was talking about those um, Pharisees and scribes. It was coming against your house shot. You know, they rejected him. But guess what? He the head. Of, of, of the building, man. He's the chief cornerstone. He's the chief cornerstone, man. But the scribes and Pharisees uh, uh, rejected him, man. And that's why I was trying to say, man, you're going to die in your sins, man. You're going to die in your sins. That's right. When you read John chapter 8, man, you was cutting him, man. He was cutting the shit out of the scribes yeah, and Pharisees, yeah, man. Yeah. John chapter 8 is a bad chapter, man. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And a stone of stumbling. Yeah, a stone in what else? Stumbling. Yeah. And a rock of offense. Yeah, a rock of offense. He was a rock of offense to them. Go ahead. Even to them which stumble at the word. Yeah. Being disobedient, whereunto also uh -huh. they were appointed. It was what else? Appointed. Yeah, man. It was appointed. Yeah, man. Yeah, beautiful scripture. Yeah, yeah. You have to use the Russian? No, I just. Yeah, give me John 15 real quick. Give me John 15, verse 16. John 15, verse 16. John chapter 15, verse 16. Yeah, John 15, verse 16. Ye have not chosen me, mm. but I have chosen you. That's right. So in church, do you serve Lord and Jesus Christ to be our Lord and Savior? You don't choose him. He chooses you. He chooses you. And you've been chosen to know the mystery of these scriptures, man. Go ahead, huh? Right. And ordain you that you should go and bring forth fruit. Yep, and go out and bring forth fruits. That's your mission. That, that's your part of your job description, man. To go out and bring forth fruits. Not to, not to have a, a rap career. You know what I'm saying? Not to be this top artist. Or cartoon artists. Your job is to bring forth fruit. 
That's not my word, it's your Abishim Yahushai word. You can bring out angry or the fuck you want. But your job is to bring forth fruits. fruits. That's, right. That's why Jonah got swallowed by a big fish, right? Yeah. Because he was being disobedient. That's right. He was what? He was in the belly of hell. Because he was being disobedient. Yeah. Meaning, keep being disobedient. And see the most I'll fuck your ass up, right? Yeah, exactly. Keep being disobedient. And I'm not the one going to do it. Your Hav Hashem Yahushai is going to do it. Your job is to bring forth fruit, God, and minister the word. Minister the word, that's your job. Go ahead. And that your fruit should remain. And your fruit shall what? Remain. Your fruit shall remain. You understand? I came on Ireland years ago and, and, and brothers out there still preaching the truth, man. Still preaching. Fuck this world, man. This world don't have nothing to offer, man. That's nothing. Right. Go ahead. That whatsoever ye shall ask of uh -huh. the Father in my name, in my name, go ahead. He may give it you. He may give one to you. That's right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, oh, just you leave it. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. All right, all right. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, read that last part again. Yeah, um, 16, right. That, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, yeah, in my name, he may give it unto you. Yeah, he may give unto you. You know, ask the Father in my name, and he will give unto you. But that's if it's according to his will. That's right. Give me that real quick. Give me 1 John 5, verse 14. 1 John 5, verse 14. 1 John 5, 14. Somebody give me that real quick. 1 John 5, 14. Most I give you John chapter 5, verse 14. Yeah, go ahead. Right? It's John chapter 5, verse 14. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will... Yeah, we ask he, anything according... It got to be according to his will, though. Yeah, it got to be. It gotta be according to his will. Yeah, not will not. If it's not will, he's not gonna grant it to you. Go ahead. Yeah, and this is the confidence that we have in.